We live? Oh, we're not even live yet. Or yes, I am live. Why are you meowing right as I go live? Okay, I think we're live now. Hello, everybody. I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome to live stream number six of my Suzerain Rich Capitalist campaign. Uh, so yeah, I just was, right as I was going live, the, the recording software said that it wasn't picking up my, um, my, uh, um, but, uh, yeah, so I just thought that the desktop audio wasn't popping up for some reason, but it is, in fact, uh, there. Um... So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it here. Caesar, what is it? I think I might just have to give him a little bit of food. Um, but give me a second here. Okay, hold on, let me go feed Caesar. And I guess I'll also get myself some water while I'm up. <sighs> We're set now. Uh, hello, Lieutenant Reroy. Hello, History with Rover, and hello, Mad Beast Yeti. Hi, everybody. Um, let me know if the music is too loud. So, uh, where did we last leave off? I think we had already entered a new turn. We're in turn three. Yeah, we banned both the youth organizations. And uh, was that the last thing we did? Um. All right, well, let's see what's next. Anti-Red Youth and Young Sword Operation. We can we closed hundreds of organizational offices and affiliated businesses all over the country. Uh, NFP on reforms. Uh, Kibner is against threshold reform. Uh, Franz Richter, outlied demands. He says he's not behind the reforms right now. A uh, workers' rights bill is nearing completion, and it is time for the finalization of the drafted constitutional changes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Hold on, let's see. Uh, hold on, drafting the constitution. New Year's Eve Eve edition. Changing the title of this just barely fits in. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, pretty pretty big here. I think this is where we're gonna actually decide on our proposals. So this is the really important stuff where we're gonna decide like, okay, what are we gonna do about justices? What are we gonna do about presidential decrees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um. So moving some things in. Let's get to it, shall we? Who did I select to build the infrastructure? I believe that it was Taurus. Yeah, we did Taurus. Uh, let's see. Good. Banning the Young Swords. Let's use them as a good trade-off in the negotiations with the National Front. Ooh, nice. Uh, the Reform Committee finally bore tangible results, and the draft of the changes were about to be presented. I walked in the marble corridors of the palace, thinking about the massive steps we were about to take. My secretary, Livia, greeted me at the entrance of my office. Good morning, Mr. President. Good. Good morning, Livia. How are you today, sir? I feel better now that I've seen you, Livia. 
She averted her eyes away from me and smiled. Oh, you little mink. I bet you fuck like a tiger, though. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. She paused before taking my coat. It looked like she had something on her mind. Mr. Rain, can you give me a hint about your reform plans? If you ask me, taking away the judge's immunity is long overdue, but it might anger a lot of people in these halls. You'll find out along with the rest of Swordland, sweetheart. Understood. I'll take your coat now. Peter and Lucian arrived. Finally! Good morning. Time to finally get this proposal going. Alright. After your modifications, we'll be starting the process. Can we go over each of the points that are up to discussion? Okay, we're going to need to decrease the Supreme Court authority, limited president vetoes, other things up to debate. Uh, the impeachment process, we can make it more difficult or get rid of it. However, it might be going too far. Law is dangerous in this case. Uh... Uh, we'll be going against the old guard if we prove to be successful in the assembly. They'll be looking at the thing to declare us constitutional. Tackle you. They need the Supreme Court to impeach you. Uh, let's see here. What if we don't succeed? The court can have me impeached for this. Yes, they're already trying to hit you since they're expecting reforms. And we aim to cooperate with some of the judges to make sure that doesn't happen. Section 4. Regarding appointment, you missed the rich snob voice. Wasn't I doing that before? The, um... You know, like, we'll read one of Peter's lines. Like, this law is particularly dangerous for you in this case. We'll be going against the old guard if we prove to be successful in the assembly. Isn't that the rich snob voice? I don't know. I have, I, I sometimes have trouble hanging on to my voices. Except for Nixon. Oh. Oh! <laughs> um... All right, this is regarding the appointment of minister. Oh, shoot. Appointment of ministers. The president's free to appoint anyone from the members of the assembly. Nobody else is involved with the process. Uh, there's no reason to change this unless you want to sell them. This is the opposition party. Sharing power with the assembly may take them, make them sympathetic for you. Uh, so this is section two. Okay, so yeah, I think the confidence vote... Uh, the confidence vote seems like a freebie. It just seems like a really good way to get get support. It's almost irrelevant because we're gonna have it because it's only a single term presidency, so it doesn't matter what happens later. So I don't ever see a reason to not do that. Kent El Ghazi, are we winning, Rain? We're sure trying. Oh, there's Vasc Tech again. Or to print Emmanuel. Oh boy, got viewers coming in, but zero likes. It's like uh, fifth section is about the electoral threshold. Most reformers want to throw it as much as possible. We've tried working with them, but it's simpler to keep the wall. Okay, let me double check the achievements um, for Suzerain. Because there's one, I think, where you, you get the 15%. Uh, it's called, like, you know, the most unfair elections or whatever. Here we go. You need to give the... You need... Uh... Election campaign finance bill on turn one, sign it and increase the threshold to 15 to get the achievement. What did I end up doing? I think that I, I signed that one into law. I allowed the new electoral campaign finance bill to pass into law. Okay, awesome. So, uh, so yeah, we need to somehow get up to uh, the 15% on the threshold and then we'll get that achievement which I don't I don't think I have yet um, let's see most unfair yeah I don't have that one okay so we're gonna try to increase the threshold the 10% threshold is what allowed us to control half of the assembly with only a 30% majority in the uh, um, elections uh, Okay. Yeah. We could simply increase it. It's like, if it's good, we can make it better. Are you role-playing your character or are you been maxing some areas to get the best ending? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm actually, I think I've said this before, I'm hoping to get assassinated because I don't have that achievement. So yeah, we're role-playing um, 
and I'm just going to try to pick up some uh, certain achievements along the way. Um, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not. Like, I already had a pretty good run when I did my Millennialist live stream one. That was the one I got reelected. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I got a ton of stuff done. Like, some people say, oh, we didn't fight the war. Well, like, I avoided the war. Like, well, you didn't win it, though. But, like, well... Can't lose a fight, you don't start. Uh, like, we're not gonna go to war on this one, but they're different, different, that's what I think is one of the beauties of this game, is like different playthroughs, you can have different objectives. Like, I definitely am going to continue to play this game until I one day have a run where I beat Rumberg in a war, um, which could prove near impossible, because uh, my understanding they keep making it more complicated with every update. Um, so anyway, we could simply increase it percent seems already too high for many sir an increase may bring too much attention on the amendments but if we keep the same voter base say a 15 percent threshold it would keep nfp out of the assembly leaving only two parties less friends also falls back behind but i doubt that well we can't know these for sure in the last elections the communist party of swordland and the workers party of blidia uh, both had close to 10 percent one of them may very well increase their votes in the next years. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Um, we should keep we should keep using the threshold to our advantage. Uh. I agree, sir. You'll have some time to think about your decision, sir. We are at the sixth. This is about presidential decrees. You already know that the reformists want them to be removed or limited, but I'm guessing you don't want any changes to your powerful decrees, sir. Um, We can balance it and make it dependent on an enabling act. Uh... I don't know, guys. What do we want to do here? Um, hello there, Luis David de Santa. Keeping the 10% is a requirement for the National Front. I don't know if you'll get away with it. Well, let's find out. Like I said, this ain't a min-max run. Uh, we could... I don't know. We could strengthen the decrees to have priority over statute law. Like I'm the boss around here, but yeah, let's go for Bauer. I think that I think that's better role play. Where it's like, I want to run this country like a business, and I'm the CEO. It's very simple. Give me power, and then I'll and then I'll make us money. That's democracy, baby. Uh, John the second. Hi, good to see you. And hello, Kent. Uh. First president was a failure, your second was a tyrant, your third was corrupt, and your last was shot. And you say democracy works. Rumberg, probably. Let's strengthen them. Uh, that is pretty powerful indeed. That may scare some of our ministers too if you decide to rule by decree. For now, I'll move on to the next one term limits. Uh. I don't aim to leave anytime soon. We keep the unlimited terms. This is gonna probably, if I don't pass this constitution, this is gonna be why, right here. Uh, we're gonna go for no term limits. I agree, we could keep that in. Hey, if people keep electing one person, that means they really are content. The masses are scared of change. We'll leave it to the president to decide. Luis de Santa says, The nationalists don't care if we go capitalist. They just care about being an ass to the minorities and keeping the president strong. So, yeah. Cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the threshold thing, you know, we'll balance that out with, uh, we're saying, like, unlimited terms. Eighth section, question about the immunity of judges. While the anti-old guard sentiment is increasing, their talks to taking away their immunity would give us authority over the judiciary. Uh, 
Excuse, <coughs> excuse me. The cord is the hardest part of this run. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, we can remove the immunity. Uh, I will give the president the ability to replace judges as necessary. That's very bold, sir, but I like it. Be tougher to persuade the judges with this. Mrs. Edmonds and Mr. Garachi may not want to cooperate with you if you believe you're going to get rid of them afterwards. All right. Uh, Soul's legacy, basically his member of honor law, it gave him absolute, it gave him absolute immunity even when he's uh, retired. He is a permanent member of the assembly as well, but luckily he doesn't really attend anymore. You don't think the pencil-thin mustache and fedora will play into you not passing the constitution? Have I been able to arrest Soul? Oh no, I don't think you can arrest Soul unless you like strip him of his member of honor thing. And um... You, I think it's like you have to... Or it's like I think he can keep the title but he loses the immunity? Or some shit like that. Uh, but then yeah, you, you could arrest him. Now I do, I do want to do... A run that I'm planning on doing sometime is I want to do like where I'm like a neo soulist, like I'm gonna be more soul than soul was. Uh, but like that will include me arresting him at some point and uh, executing him. It basically says it's like it's my fucking country now, bitch. Uh, hmm. <sighs> so. Hmm. Uh, according to the Constitution, the Member of Honor not only has legal immunity, but the state also covers most of their expenses as well as providing security at all times. It can only be given to someone by an absolute majority vote in the Assembly and the approval of the President. That's why only Tarquin Soul has it. He gave it to himself right after his military coup. This law is basically made to save the colonel. Gotta remove Hawker since he simps for Solia. I think some of the... I think some of the reformists really want to try him for his crimes during his term. Especially the Bladish. This law has really symbolic importance for both them and the Solis. Uh, wait, so you're telling me that once I'm no longer president, not the, you know, when I decide to retire, because that's how I'm going to lose, like, you know, I get my unlimited terms, but eventually it's going to be like, you know, oh, this is so much work, I want to go golfing, I want to go on my yacht, I want to go uh, skiing, or, you know, I just, uh, I want to enjoy my twilight years with all my money and my manservants, uh, so, yeah, if, if uh, the state will cover my expenses, that's less bills for me, oh, yay, um, yeah, the state, so if I become a member of honor, the state pays for shit, most of my shit for the rest of my life. And I can keep voting. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Every president should gain that title after their term. If we lose the vote, we could shoot Hawker with the secret police. Ah, so I have to, uh, is that a spoiler or like, are you speculating? Like, like, do we have to have lost the constitutional vote in order to, uh, try to assassinate Hawker? Cause I know that's an achievement. And actually I think there's another achievement for like going to three different funerals. So like, I guess that would have to be, what was the name? Bernard Sercus at the beginning of the game. And then, uh, it's possible oh, for Peter to die. Uh, we could go to his funeral, but would that be the third or Hawkins or something? I don't know. Oh, so you want to use the same privilege after all. It's not unfair that ex-presidents get some special treatment. Yeah, that's fair. Well, regardless of what you decide, we'll need to work together to push this agenda. <laughs> Let's start working on the draft. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big shit right now. So, I think I've made my, my choices here. Um, so, section one, presidential vetoes. Uh, according to article 72 and, I should say articles. Um, let's see here. 
Uh, President may veto a bill by returning it to the assembly with a written statement. The articles do not contain any information on how to override a veto. As a consequence, the president has an absolute veto power that cannot be overridden by the Grand National Assembly under any circumstances. So we can do nothing, we can limit it, or we can limit it so that there's an override. Um, uh, yeah, so absolute polygraphy. Like, I like the loophole, we want the loopholes, we love the loopholes. Uh, the new constitution will allow the Grand National Assembly to override a veto with a supermajority. However, it will not contain any time limit for a president to act on a bill, giving them the power to ignore a bill indefinitely. Yeah. More power, more money, but don't overdo it or we'll not pass the vote. Yeah, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, like, cry about it if we fail, because isn't there an achievement for if you fail to pass it? Or is it, it's like it has to lose by what vote? Okay, who's Ryan? You said Ryan's click? No constitutional amendment process? Well, you know, kind of have to do this. Mandatory. Remove the Supreme Court's vote. I, uh, yeah, according to... Oh, hold on, so let's just read it. According to Article 5 of the Constitution, an amendment may be proposed by members of the Assembly with at least 150 signatures, a two-thirds majority in the Grand National Assembly, and a simple majority vote in the Supreme Court is required for the amendment. As a consequence, the Supreme Court, which is not part of the elected legislative branch, has enormous power in the amendment process. We will remove the Supreme Court's vote. Constitutional amendment will not require the vote of the Supreme Court. This will remove the judiciary and legislative powers. I'm fine with him having this here, by the way, even though it's like a... It's a mandatory part of the Constitution. Okay, Section 3, Impeachment Process. I am Ryan. Oh, Rain! Your phone is auto-correcting Rain into Ryan. <laughs> so... According to Article 17, the President of Sordland is not responsible for the actions performed in the exercise of presidential duties, except in the case of high treason or violation of the Constitution. In such cases, the President may be impeached by the Supreme Court in joint session with an absolute majority of its members. Therefore, the impeachment process only includes the Supreme Court. It gives them great power over the executive. Uh, so we're going to say... responsible for actions performed in the exercise mm. let's see remove the case of high treason violation president will be strong any actions uh I don't think they're going to be happy with me if I, if I, um, oh, excuse me, try to say I don't want to be impeached. And like, that's another achievement I haven't got. I've never been impeached. So I want to keep that open. We're going to leave that there. Section four, appointment of ministers. According to the constitution, the president appoints the ministers to the council of ministers uh, from elected members of the assembly. It requires no confidence vote. Yeah. So we'll say... Confidence votes required. I think before I've had them nominate, uh, but we'll just say, like, you know, confidence vote. That'll get some of them on my side because some of these other things they're not going to like. All right, section five. Oh, yeah, this is another achievement one. Ugh. See, uh, there's an achievement for being able to decrease it to, like, 3%, the threshold. So I don't know why that hasn't popped up yet. Maybe it's as soon as I have to do other. So anyway, I can't get that particular achievement. Uh, so, according to Article 50, a political party needs a minimum of 10% of the total national vote to win seats in the Grand National Assembly. The votes of the parties who pass the threshold are redistributed proportionally, meaning USP, which currently holds the lead, would be the main beneficiary. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um... The new constitution will have a 15% threshold for political parties. This may prevent the National Front Party from being elected in the next elections. It may also create a political crisis in the future in case of no parties with enough votes to pass the new threshold. That's a really, really specific thing. Yeah. But you would need, for there to be nobody who gets past the pre threshold, you would need like six, seven parties. Uh, 
uh, for there to be a situation where none of them were over 15%. Didn't we get impeached in our Millennium's playthrough? Yeah, I think you're right. The pre-recorded one, I think I did get impeached. Well, here's how I check. Let me just look at my achievements. Okay, F. Oh, yep, I got impeached back in May. You, you are correct. Fat God 100 says, hello, Yen, that is. Fat God 100. I definitely. That's good. <laughs> I think the option of the 3% depends on your response in the first meeting about the Constitution. Oh, it's like I gotta really say I really, really want to open it up. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. Section 6, Presidential Decrees. According to uh, Article 18 and 51, the President is able to issue decrees on uh, political, social, and economic issues that would carry the force of law. They cannot contradict the Constitution and are subject to judicial review. Um, therefore, the President may issue decrees in many subjects without going through the Grand National Assembly. Uh, however, the Assembly may pass legislation on the same subjects to override President. Decrees could require an enabling act. They have statute. Yeah, this is what I want. I wanted a bigger than the law, I'm bigger, bigger than Jesus. Uh, term limits according to the Constitution. The president shall be elected for four years. However, there is no mention of a term limit allowing one individual to be able to run, be elected, and serve as president without limits. Oh, uh, we will not be changing this. Do not change. How many of your lives in a long time? It's good to be back. It's good to see you back. Uh, section 8, sorry I'm yawning so much, this might end up being a, a, sh a short stream, because I had a long day today working, clerking, carrying. Uh, so section 8, beauty of judges, the constitution gives the justices of the Supreme Court total immunity and describes no procedure of impeachment, making them untouchable by the other branches of the government. Uh, I want to be able to re uh, replace them. Uh, the president may replace a justice of the Supreme Court with another individual who is fit for the job if the acting justice is not in good behavior. Section 9, Honorary Membership of Tarquin's Soul. Uh, Article 99 of the Constitution defines Member of Honor title, its appointment procedure, as well as the rights their members may exercise. A Member of Honor has absolute immunity and is considered to be a permanent member of the Grand National Assembly. They are given control of their own personal security team provided by the state's presidential guards. The member is also eligible to live in a special private residence provided by the state for free. The only person who holds the title is Tarquin Soul. Uh, so I think I want to... Uh, yeah, we're not going to abolish it. Every president's an honorary member. The president of Sorthen becomes a member of honor immediately after their turn as president is over. So I wonder if this, like, retroactively would also apply to Alphonse, because he was the, uh, the president between Sol and I. He was the transition one. Am I sure about my decisions? Okay, let's go back and double-check everything. All right, yeah, pocket vetoes. Remove the vote is mandatory. We're leaving that. Uh, confidence so it's good. Definitely want to increase that threshold. Priority over statute law. Okay, we can remove judges and everybody's an honorary member. You are, you are, you are. You're about to make constitutional changes to Swordland. Are you sure about your decisions? Yes. Well, we're not making the changes yet. After looking at the changes, the team began discussing it amongst themselves. Those he had spoke afterwards. It looks like the amendments are ready to be proposed. I'm good. Let's proceed. We're going to work on the wording of the proposal with our legal experts before we propose it. In the meantime, you must introduce this proposal to our party, sir. You'll need to a or to give a strong speech to get them behind you. 
I advise you first talk to the leaders of both the conservative and reformist wings of the party. As far as I'm aware, uh, Mr. Cloudman will be our biggest problem. He might try to plant you as a dictator. Mrs. Tori will also be tough, but we need to get to her first. Any advice? Mrs. Tori will probably be easier to persuade. We need to unite the party under the East Jade, so her support is vital. Uh, yeah, Cloudman, Cloudman, we're just gonna... Ooh. Excuse me, we're just gonna promise him the vice presidency. God, I might be calling it a day here earlier than I thought. Yeah, I've been up for... What time is it? Too long. I didn't sleep great last night either. I ended up staying up late, working on the podcast thing I've been referencing. But I completely lost track of time. If it wasn't Caesar, like, bugging me to come to bed, I probably would have yeah, gone into the early morning. This is a government simulator? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're playing the president of a, of a fictional country. Uh, if you make any demands to change the rules, you may need to give in. Yeah, so he's going to want to be the vice president. And I'll say, sure, buddy, you got it. And, uh, then, you know, flip him the bird. Or maybe I'll do it. Maybe, maybe his corruption will be attractive to my character. Character. But, uh, whether or not we give it to him, we're at least going to lie and say we're going to give it to him. Uh... I understood. It's in the meeting there. Oh, there's the save game. You know what? Hate to do it to you guys, but you know, it might be a while, while, till there's another shame save state. That's one problem with this game. I kind of wish that you could have a save file that you could use. You know, just like maybe just one per game or something. Um, but yeah, I do have. It's funny. Yeah, Luis David Santos is finished up. Mr. C, should you have work tomorrow? Yes, indeed, I do for sure. So I will be working New Year's Eve. I think I'm going to have New Year's Day off. Um, but what I'm going to try to do tomorrow is like maybe stream for an hour or two. We'll do a couple of, uh, at least a couple of hours. I'd like to do a couple of hours uh, so we can do some New Year's um, streaming. Uh, you know, do some countdowns together I think would be fun. Um, like I did last year. Uh, I think I did that during my George Wallace campaign. I'd have to look it up. But um Thank you for joining me, everybody. Sorry, it's a short one. Uh, next stream I do, not counting the New Year's stream, I'll be sure to do a New Year. Uh, 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 I'll try. I'll do Suzerain again, but yeah, I'm um, probably going to end up going to bed like pretty quick here in like an hour. I'm really tired. Uh, and I need to get a proper night's sleep, especially because I'll be up late tomorrow for the New Year. Um, so thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. Um... And uh, you all have a uh, very nice evening. And uh, if um, if it happens before the next stream happens, uh, happy new year to you. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, I'll, 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 I'll like type up a paragraph or something. I'll give like a new year speech tomorrow of some kind. Uh, anyway, good night, everybody. And you're all wonderful.